Well, we had a great trip down to the property today. Uh, we got to walk the property lines tonight, as you'll see, a little bit of that. A um, few trees down, things like that from the big storm that came through. Um, the first thing we did when we got into town is we went to eat at a local restaurant in town. We've never announced what town we're going to be in or anything. And we're sitting there eating dinner and a police detective walks up to us and he's like, hey, Scott, and introduced himself and his wife and they're fans of the channel. And that was exciting to be able to meet him. And uh, and then another guy came up to us during dinner and introduced himself and gave us his business card. And he's got a local shop here in town. He's a viewer of the channel as well and offered if we need any tools or any assistance with anything to come by any time. So that was it's, being in a small town like that. That's amazing. Uh, and the fact that we've got viewers here in the town that we've never announced what, what town it is. So that, that was cool. Um, the trip down here, the solar was amazing. Uh, we were at one point, it was a little bit sunny. There was still high, thin cirrus clouds. So it wasn't hundred percent sun. And we were pulling in like close to 1600 Watts at like 54 amps. I think there'll be a screenshot of that. Uh, the solar did everything we wanted it to do. It ran the water heater, uh, cooking, Kelly cooked lunch, used the air fryer, and by the time we were done eating, it was back up to 100%. So I, we didn't check it as soon as she was done. So I don't even know what it did drop down, if it did drop down. Um, we took a nap for a couple hours, just running the water heater. And I had the rooftop air fan on, which is only like 300 watts. But between that and the water heater, that it never came off of. the. And the, the water heater is like 1,800 watts it was pulling. Uh, never took the batteries off 100. because it was. And then it got cloudy after that. We were pulling in like 500 to 800 watts most of the day then after that, but the batteries never came off of a hundred. So I'm really excited having those eight Battleborn batteries with the large amount of solar that we have. That's really cool. Um, went and got the bus weighed this morning. First thing I've said is that Kelly completely annihilated me. So she was much closer than I was. I was very, very far off. Um, and then the winner of that is Jeff Hardy's, I believe was his name. And he was only what, 24 pounds off. Is that what it was, Kelly? Yes. 24 pounds off. That's really close. And he would have been even closer, except for Sean, uh, who we're going to be seeing in Florida, had asked me if he could have my old power inverter and my old battery charger. So I threw those back on the bus for him. And then I grabbed a rake, a hoe, and a shovel. And I think without those things, he would have been like right on the money. So that was a really good guess. I know that we had announced we were giving away a sticker, but it's actually a much cooler prize package than that. Uh, we just didn't want to say too much about what it was. So it was really fun. Uh, we got to find out who some of our real fans are who were, took the time to enter it. Um, we're really excited about that. So Jeff, uh, I'll send you a message. I got to get your email address so we can communicate and then we'll get your address to ship stuff out to you. Um, was there something else I was going to talk about, Kelly? I don't, I don't think so, but it's great being a, this small town is amazing. Uh, can't, can't wait to, to start getting things going on the property. We're going to, I think we're going to maybe call a concrete guy tomorrow. We got a local concrete guy's name about getting some concrete pads done. Uh, we won't have any time to, I don't think to work on the property before we got to leave on this trip. That's what sucks. We were really looking forward to, uh, I got some Patreon members that were going to come out here and help us work the property. Some of them with a backhoe and stuff like that. Uh, and help us grade the driveway and things like that too. So I think that's going to unfortunately have to wait until a couple of months after we're done, you know, going through Florida and then North Carolina and then coming back here. So, um, but anyways, we're super excited. You'll see in this video here, a couple of cool things, and then, uh, we'll see you on the next video tomorrow. Got a few trees down on the property, uh, from the storms that came through the Nashville area. There was one on the main road that had come down and somebody's already chainsawed it up. It looks like it blocked the road. This one, at least it's not a huge tree. I can bring my saws all out here and just kind of hack away at it for a few minutes. It is a really pretty sunset tonight out here at the property. This will be our first night on the property.
my guess was 25,998. And your guess, Kelly? 26.6. Six. 26.6. Six. Originally I said 26.8, but... Shit! 27,180. <laughs> Man, got a lot of extra stuff in here, but you took a lot off, so sorry, baby. But that means I win. Now we're stuck here behind a truck. I don't until know, I need the fuel, the pickup ticket. Does it save that information in here? I can go pick it. Yeah, I, I did a screenshot of it. 96.60 pounds on the steer axle and 17.520 on the rear. 27.180. There. It's okay, baby. You got a lot of extra stuff in here. his tools check the air and all those duels it's that bus grease monkey don't you know well he's got a long hard ride in that pre-war silver sides get that bus grease monkey on the road well he's got that hammer down and that 47 hound it's that bus grease monkey on the road he travels all around and he's coming to your town get that bus grease monkey down the road that bus grease monkey do his thing 30 years behind that barn cause it don't run worth a darn watch that bus grease monkey make it sing he knows in detroit there's no doubt upside down and inside out it's that bus grease monkey don't you know saving buses far and wide in that old blue silver sides it's that bus grease monkey don't you know it's that bus grease monkey, don't you know? Get that bus grease monkey down the road. It's that bus grease monkey, don't you know? It's that bus grease monkey, don't you know? It's that bus grease monkey, don't you know? I just wanted to take a second and say if you made it and you watched that whole entire video music video right now, I love you. You're awesome. I love that song uh, and that means that you are a true Bus Grease Monkey fan. So thank you for that. I appreciate it that you liked the song and you actually listened to it all the way through. So I just wanted to say thank you.